Recently, I was perusing the YouTube stratosphere, and I came across this kid. His name was um, Copper Pot. Copper Tone? Copper Tan! Oswald Cobblepot! Pedro. Popper Cab. That's what his name was. I miss you, Pedro! <laughs> anyway, so in his recent post, he decides he's going to come out and uh, apologize to the black race for the oppression caused by the white race. I'm going to speak for my parents and everyone before them when I say that they are sorry. You know, I, I, I reviewed this. It was uh, very entertaining. And uh, I also noticed, though, as uh, after I'd finished watching it, that there were these posts of these people who were sitting there going, you know, this kid's a fag, a troll. Uh, there's something wrong with him. Salting him. And I, I don't understand it. I really don't understand it. I mean, what kind of environment are we in when we can't just be ourselves? Warning. Cigarettes are highly addictive. Studies have shown that tobacco use can be harder to quit than heroin, cocaine, or potato chips, and may cause erectile dysfunction in chickens. I'm asking you why? 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 Can't people express themselves properly? I mean, so what if he's going to take it upon himself to apologize for white people. I'm sorry, okay? The line here, folks, is, is that just because we have ginger hair, a mole on our chin, or maybe even wear a dead cat on their head, it shouldn't make a difference. We should not ostracize them. We should embrace it, cradle it. We should endorse it, accept one another for who they are, what they are, and what they want to do. So until next time, I'm not Jerry Springer. Thank you, and good night. Erectile dysfunction.